Hi everybody, just before we get into today's video, just want to do a massive thank you to all the guys that have taken out YouTube channel membership. Thank you for all the support guys, it's really appreciated. Let's get on with today's video. Hi everybody, Space Junkie here, hope you're all keeping very, very well. So today's video is all about my favourite bunker loadout. Um, and that's obviously talking about what I wear as armour, weapons, the ship, everything. I hope you find this uh, video helpful. Now, as we know, bunkers are extremely bad at this moment in time. Uh, many bunker missions are tried to do. Lifts are stuck down in the down position, which really doesn't help us when we're trying to complete missions. We will also be using the ultimate voice assistant called Emily today. See how we get on with that. Uh, it's new to me. Obviously, still learning the instructions, but I thought I'd give it a try out today to see how we get on. Uh, I'd like to uh, know your thoughts on it as well. Now, what I think with Emily so far is the fact Commencing that it, selected protocols. Thank you very much. Um, it's the response time on the instructions compared to uh, other competitors that are out there. So I'd be interested to get your feedback on this as well. So let's have a look at my actual loadout I wear. Now, if you're a new player, I still personally recommend heavy armor. It just means you can absorb a few more rounds than obviously medium and light. Now, I always run this helmet. It is a heavy. I just prefer the look of it. But everything else I run is a medium. This means obviously I can still get around the bunkers fairly quickly if I need to. Med gun. I've got the pistol just here, the LH86 with a silencer. On the other side, always take a multi-tool with a tractor beam. Med pens. On my back, my primary weapon is always the S71. Again with a silencer. Medium backpack. Scrolling around my backup weapon is the C54. Now always make sure you take yourself a little bit of extra ammo. I'm just going to put some in my backpack. You'll be surprised just how quickly you can burn through the ammo when you're under fire. Um, this is going to be my first bunker mission of the day. Hopefully it'll work first of all. Hopefully I won't be uh, too rough obviously running it. So I'm going to chuck in a couple of bits more ammo. So that's actually what I wear. Now, when it comes to a ship, I know the medical Pisces gets loads of plaudits, but for me, the best ship in the game is the Cutty Red. I just love it. It's got so much presence. It's got ample storage. You can carry cargo. You can even carry, as you can see, the Grey Cat STV, which is in the back of here. If you do obviously accept the bunker where you can't obviously land near it, you can actually get a vehicle in the back you can get yourself to the actual mission destination without having to run for miles and miles. For me, the Cutty Red is definitely the main ship. In the back here, just in case you didn't know, under the medical beds, there are two, one here and one here, storage compartments, and they are shared storage compartments. Medical beds will treat up to a tier three injury. You've got airlo airlocks on either side. Bunk beds for two, just on here. Now, making our way through to the main compartment. We've got a weapon rack or extra weapons. More bunk beds. Uh, this is not a turret in this ship. So, you know, that has been replaced with uh, a washroom facility. And then just at the front, we've got the all important co pilot and pilot seat. So, what we're going to do is this next section, I'm going to be using Emily to get us into the actual pilot seat run through our flight checks, but let's see how we get on. Into C. Transferring protocols to vehicle. Flight ready. Pre-flight check started. Engines check. Weapons check. Shields check. All systems are online. Flight ready. Pre-flight checks initiated. Stand okay. by. Systems are go. All ATC. Take off. Back shields. Maximizing shields. Open Moby Glass. Just there, you do a very, very quick, lock. quick insight how 
quickly Emily responds to your commands. I'm just gonna select this omission. Gonna do is let's try a guard against hostiles. Over on Daymar. What I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna get us to our mission objective. Uh and I'll bring you guys straight back in. Fucking camera one. So the doors are open. As you can see, one of my engines is out. I did take a, a, a bit of a beating the other day, uh, and I repaired my ship. So, uh, yeah, I uh, dropped a food while I should have destroyed it. It is what it is. Means my ship carries on for another mission. I'm going to get the sails down to Daymar. Get to the actual mission objective itself. So, yeah, I'm just going to bring you guys along for the ride. This screen it continues in Emily. Activating jump drive. Really nice about it. Strings together multiple commands. As you saw when I got in the seat, it switched to vehicle mode. When I get out of the seat in a second, it will switch to FPS mode. It really is very, very clever. As I say, I'm literally just scratching the surface with it today, just trying to get used to it. They have made a Star Citizen plugin, which is absolutely brilliant. Pencil spawning. As you can see, the when you issue an instruction, it's pretty much instant, which is what I'm really, really pleased with. I did find uh, other voice attacks, uh, sorry, other voice assistants should I say, um, a little bit slow, whereas this seems to be absolutely on point, which is what we want. Especially when it comes to, obviously, changing to weapons, max power, builds, engines, you need that instantaneous. So let's get ourselves down. Hopefully this uh, bunker will be working. I think what I love about this ship is, who doesn't like ship with loads of emergency lights on it. Fantastic ship. So, the Guard Against Hostiles mission, you have three waves of enemies. Not sure if we're going to get lucky in this one to work. It really is hit and miss with bunkers at this moment in time. Someone's abandoned their 890 jump down here. Fucking camera one. Now, we continue to use Emily for this next section. Third person. Boggle engines. engines offline. Exit C. Transferring protocols to Moby Glass. Now we've gone from vehicle mode to FPS mode. We've now obviously got all the instructions that we need for when we're running FPS combat or just running around. We can even instruct it to close and open doors. I just look at this here. Operate. Don't have to obviously always be clicking your buttons and that sort of stuff. Now, we should be able to say primary, primary, pistol. There you go. Literally cycles through those weapons really quickly. Really, really nice. Primary, primary, primary. Reload. Now, as far as I'm aware, not many voice assistants that I can think of that work at that sort of speed. But let's get ourselves down here. Keep you guys with me. I'm going to run this bunker. Hopefully it'll work. We've got guards. We've got a lift. So it's a very good start. As I say, guys, this is my first bunker mission of the day. So uh, excuse the aiming. 
may be a bit rough. Five seconds. Let's see if we've got any boxes anywhere. There was one as we ran in. Get ourselves around. So wave eight. Sorry, wave one of eight hostiles. One down. The S seventy one does pack quite a bit of punch. security guard. That'd a bit easier. Now one thing you need to know is if you've got a server with a high FPS it's going to mean that the nine tails are going to be a lot more responsive than what they are normally. Uh, anything from sort of 20 upwards they are pretty lethal so always worth having a look to see what your server FPS is just to get an idea of how responsive the actual nine tails are going to be. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, if you push your console key and do R underscore display info space two in the top right hand corner, it will tell you all the information regarding obviously the server, the shard, the FPS currently on there, all that sort of information. I'll put that in the video description just so uh, you don't have to remember it. That's always quite handy, quite uh, useful information to know. Primary, reload. I can't remember, I've got uh, the voice assistant with me, I keep forgetting. Uh, so, yeah, that's always very good information to know the uh, server FPS. where we want to be just in case. Got one upstairs, one downstairs. I keep sneaking in upstairs, isn't he? Let's get this gone. But he's stuck in the lift by the looks of it, unless he's teleported somewhere else. Hopefully the security guards might get that guy. Fingers crossed we're not going to get a bug mission. Oh, 
I think that guy's out now. Good. Okay, final wave, guys. We're doing well so far. Not died, which is always a bonus. Out through here, any more boxes. Sure, we've got plenty of ammo on us. More 71 on 20 primary. The guys with this, why don't we get the headshots? There's so many commands for this, guys. I'm not even scratching the surface yet. So I'm just trying to uh, get used to it myself. But what do you think, guys? Is something like this, you, you know, you'd look to use? Let me know in the comments. I think the way it's not very good. Helpful. Nice little through here. Guess I'll go take a look. I'll give it a glance. That's defo worth investigating. Be right back. Check it out. Checking. Sounds like the voices were behind. Oh. Yes, 71. Literally fires as quickly you can push the left mouse button. That's packed quite a bunch. Reload. If you're a bit like me, every now and again you forget what keys you need to be pressing. A voice assistant would definitely come and help. I don't know if you've noticed, every now and again, I say every now and again, pretty much, very consistently, you will do a mission where you'll have one left. And you, this, this person does not spawn in. What you need to do is what I'm going to do in a second. I'm going to get in my ship once I finish looting this bunker and fly away. You will notice that it will come up and say mission complete. Not quite sure why that is. But it is just something that's the vibe at this moment in time. So you should be fairly safe. Go about your business and loot in the bunker. Not get shot by this last one. Always be a bit careful, always listen out. Four footsteps though, because obviously they can spawn in at any minute. Quickly loot the ammo that we'd use. The pens. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn him over. Do that. Always try and listen out. Just in case you hear some footsteps. Could be a security guard. Could be a night tail. There's only thing in that box we when it was there. The one on my way out. Let's have a look just in case we get lucky. Weapon. There is a command actually, which I should have said. You can ask Emily to holster the weapon. Didn't do that. Still trying to get used to it myself. Right, let's see if we get lucky. See if this mission finishes when we fly away. Always check this corner, always a little hidden box. 
may get lucky. Take that. Better grab the rail gun. If I don't get absolute counters in chat. In the comments. So let's grab that. Let's get ourselves up. It's in the ship. I'll probably come back and grab that red SMP one. So guys, what do you think? What do you think of Emily? Leave us a comment. I'm interested to know your thoughts and if it's something you would consider using in the future. Obviously, uh, when I first started playing Star Citizen, I used to use the voice assistant pretty uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, where I stopped using it because what was happening was it was just coming out with random commands which I really didn't want it to do. It was getting quite frustrating. But this one seems to be uh, working very, very well and I haven't got it on push to talk or anything like that. Listening all the time. Yeah. Run back down and put that red S71. We should save up and get one, but I'm not too. Let's quickly get ourselves back down. We'll grab this red S71, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you the mission complete. Once we've uh, flown away, we have left one security guard here. Just in case they decide to show up. Nothing. favourite gun in the game. A uh, long shot. Quite like the Demico at this moment in time. That's quite good fun to use if you haven't used that. Ooh. 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 Oh no. Right, we've got a uh, an issue now where what can happen is the guy just legs go funny. Oh, no, it's back again. Sometimes if you push I and go back to it, it sorts the issue out. It's not going to do that on this occasion, so what we'll do is we'll try and get in, this, in the ship if we can. Let's make things a little bit more tricky. I'm not quite sure. I mean, it is blowing a storm, but it is not quite what you would expect when a storm is blowing the way your character reacts. Very, very strange. Put that in. Seems to have settled down now. Yeah, that'll be good. Now if we double tap on here, we can place that weapon straight in. Right. Yeah, no, we're still not working. Moving properly. Enter C. Transferring protocols to vehicle. Toggle engines. Go guys. But what, you know, I'll be really, really interested to know what you think of Emily. I'm just going to see if this actually works. There you go. Objective complete. So guys, you are struggling, and you're always getting left with one person in the bunker. Get in your ship, fly away. Nine times out of ten, the contract will complete. So uh, yeah, and unfortunately, I can't help you with the lifts that are stuck in the down position. What I can help you with, obviously, is that one just there. So, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, we do run a Discord channel. Everybody's welcome, new and old players alike. Very, very friendly place to be. We'll always help people out and do what we can to uh, make sure you're succeeding and do what you, you would like in-game. We'll always try and help you with uh, dealing with that sort of cyber stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Please don't forget to leave a like. If you think I deserve it, maybe think